What is the primary goal of cleaning medical devices in the decontamination area? A. To ensure devices are aesthetically pleasing. B. To remove all visible and non-visible soil and foreign material. C. To sterilize the medical devices. D. To prepare devices for immediate use. Answer B. To remove all visible and non-visible soil and foreign material. Which area is designated for the collection, retention, and cleaning of soiled or contaminated items? A. Sterilization area. B. Decontamination area. C. Assembly area. D. Storage area. Answer B. Decontamination area. Why is it important for the decontamination area to be under negative pressure relative to adjacent areas? A. To prevent the escape of contaminants. B. To improve the efficiency of cleaning processes. C. To maintain higher temperatures. D. To conserve energy in heating and cooling. Answer A. To prevent the escape of contaminants. Which type of water is recommended for the final rinsing of medical devices during manual cleaning? A. Tap water. B. Distilled or deionized water. C. Softened water. D. Hard water. Answer B. Distilled or deionized water. What personal protective equipment, PP, is necessary for technicians working in the decontamination area? A. Hair covering and a fluid-resistant gown. B. Sunglasses and summer gloves. C. A business suit and tie. D. None. PP is optional. Answer A. Hair covering and a fluid-resistant gown. What is the ideal temperature range for the decontamination area to ensure worker comfort and inhibit microbial growth? A. 30 degrees Fahrenheit to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. B. 100 degrees Fahrenheit to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. C. 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. D. 75 degrees Fahrenheit to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Answer, C, 60 degrees Fahrenheit to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Which of the following is not a function of an ultrasonic cleaner? A, sterilization. B, removing soil from hard-to-reach areas. C, creating cavitation to dislodge foreign matter. D, lifting proteins, starches, and lipids from instruments. Answer, A. Sterilization. Why should traffic be restricted in the decontamination area? A. To reduce the potential for distractions. B. To minimize the risk of exposure to blood-borne pathogens. C. To save costs on cleaning. D. To speed up the cleaning process. Answer B. To minimize the risk of exposure to blood-borne pathogens. What is the significance of having a three-sink setup in the decontamination area? A. It is cheaper than having a single sink. B. It allows for washing, intermediate rinsing, and final rinsing. C. It is required by law. D. It is easier to maintain. Answer. B. It allows for washing, intermediate rinsing, and final rinsing. Why is hand hygiene particularly important after removing PP in the decontamination area? A. It is a regulatory requirement. B. To prevent cross-contamination and reduce the risk of infection. C. It makes the gloves last longer. D. It is only necessary if the hands are visibly soiled. Answer B. To prevent cross-contamination and reduce the risk of infection. What type of brushes should be avoided during the cleaning of medical instruments to prevent surface damage? A. Nylon bristles. B. Abrasive brushes. 
C. Soft brushes. D. Sponge tipped brushes. Answer B. Abrasive brushes. How should the decontamination work area be prepared daily? A. Disinfected at the beginning and end of each shift and cleaned immediately in case of spills. B. Cleaned only when visibly dirty. C. Mopped once a week. D. No specific preparations are needed. Answer A. Disinfected at the beginning and end of each shift and cleaned immediately in case of spills. What is the purpose of ensuring that all lumens are completely filled with fluid during the ultrasonic cleaning process? A. To prevent cavitation. B. To enable effective cavitation inside the lumen. C. To reduce the use of cleaning solution. D. To cool down the instruments. Answer B. To enable effective cavitation inside the lumen. Why must instruments be completely submerged in the ultrasonic cleaner? A. To expose them evenly to the cavitation process. B. To prevent them from floating. C. To conserve cleaning solution. D. To make them easier to retrieve. Answer A. To expose them evenly to the cavitation process. What is the risk of overloading trays in an ultrasonic cleaner? A. It can break the machine. B. It can block transmission of ultrasonic energy. C. It reduces the need for cleaning solution. D. It increases the cleaning time unnecessarily. Answer B. It can block transmission of ultrasonic energy. Which of the following materials should not be placed in an ultrasonic cleaner unless specifically approved? A. Stainless steel. B. Chrome-plated instruments. C. Titanium. D. Gold. Answer. B. Chrome-plated instruments. What type of detergent should be used in ultrasonic cleaners? A. High foaming detergents. B. Any general purpose detergent. C. Low foaming detergents formulated for ultrasonic cleaners. D. Bleach based detergents. Answer C. Low foaming detergents formulated for ultrasonic cleaners. What is impingement as it relates to washer disinfectors? A. The drying process using hot air. B. The application of a lubrication layer. C. The spray force of water against instruments to remove bioburden. D. The use of ultraviolet light to disinfect. Answer C. The spray force of water against instruments to remove bioburden. Why is a preerance cycle usually cool in temperature in washer disinfectors? A. To save energy. B. To prevent protein coagulation. C. To sterilize the instruments. D. To prepare instruments for drying. Answer B. To prevent protein coagulation. Which items should be positioned away from the travel paths of spray arms in a mechanical washer? A. Small instruments. B. Instruments that are sticking up or out of the perforated baskets. C. Cloth items. D. Solid metal instruments. Answer. B. Instruments that are sticking up or out of the perforated baskets. What should be done with trays with lids or covers during the washing process? A. They should be closed tightly. B. They should be open to expose contents to the washer spray. C. They should be removed from the washer. D. They should be filled to capacity. Answer. B. They should be open to expose contents to the washer spray. Why should hinged instruments be opened during the ultrasonic cleaning process? A. To allow thorough drying. B. To prevent damage to the hinge. 
C. To permit direct contact of the water and detergent. D. To make them easier to handle. Answer. C. To permit direct contact of the water and detergent. Why is it important to regularly inspect and clean the spray arms and washer jets and mechanical washers? A. To prevent instrument damage. B. To ensure effective cleaning by maintaining proper spray action. C. To comply with health regulations. D. To speed up the cleaning process. Answer B. To ensure effective cleaning by maintaining proper spray action. What could happen if washer detergent levels are not frequently monitored and the detergent drum runs dry? A. A column of air may enter the detergent feed lines, impacting detergent delivery. B. The machine will automatically refill the detergent. C. The cleaning cycle will be faster. D. Instruments will become sterilized. Answer A. A column of air may enter the detergent feed lines, impacting detergent delivery. Why are instrument cycles generally the longest in automated washers? A. They involve multiple cleaning functions including rinse, wash, and lubrication. B. They use less water and energy. C. They are designed for lightweight instruments only. D. They are shorter but more intense. Answer A. They involve multiple cleaning functions including rinse, wash, and lubrication.